June 2002, Core 2, Question 2. And we start off, interesting thing here is we're given what sine theta is. We haven't been given theta equals something like 23 degrees and we've got to do sine 23. We haven't got that. We've actually got that the sine theta is 5 over 13. So what's the area of the triangle? Okay, area of the triangle formula. Area equals a half times one side times the other times the sine of the angle between them. Well, one side's 26, the other side's 31.5, and the sine of the angle between them is this 5 over 13. You don't have to push your sine button. Uh, you just tap all that into your calculator and you get 157.5 centimetre squares. Um, any rounding does it want here? Um, no, just, just doesn't mention it, so I'll leave it at 175. The exact value of cos theta, there's, there's lots of nice ways of doing this, but I think what students are doing most of the time now is they're just doing the inverse sine of that and then cosing it. And uh, you actually do get an answer then of, of 12 over 13 on the calculator. Uh, a smarter way of doing it, I'll go up here, is probably saying sine squared plus cos squared theta is always equal to 1. And if we've got sine theta is 5 over 13, then sine squared is 25 over 169 plus cos squared theta equals 1. Take 25 over 169 from both sides gives us 144 over 169 and square rooting us gives the 12 over 13 again. It's not the negative square root because we know that this is an acute angle. Um, it does say here it's an acute angle so it's going to need to be positive. Then it says try and find the length AC. And so this time we've got one side and the other and the angle between them. We're going to be using the cosine rule. And the cosine rule is in the formula book. Write it down before you start using it. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos theta. And again, the numbers 26, 26 squared, 31.5 squared. Take away 2 times 26 times 31.5 times the cos of the angle between them, that is the value we've been given here, times by 12 over 13. Um, tapping all of that in actually gives you, my calculator gave it to me as a fraction, um, 625 over 4, and so when you square root that, you get 12.5. If you, when you tap that into the calculator, didn't get that, maybe you're not tapping this bit in right. You want to tap in all of that as one big thing, and it's that's taken away. Um, sometimes people do these calculations in the incorrect order. As last time, here's the mark scheme for it all. And the examiner's report as well. Have a little read of that to yourself. Uh, that's the, the error I just talked about there. Some people use the wrong order of evaluation.